kids, this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I dream about days like this. I can't wait for them to come into existence. Yes, indeed. I wasn't really paying attention to anything. All of a sudden I heard this noise, and what it was was the kayak coming up on the shore here at the sand, and I was like, just kind of spacing out here on the river. And here's where we landed, right here. Early morning, guys. 5.30 or so. It stays light so long and then it lights so early. And the thing is, it's... It's warm down here. Huh. I mean, you could go out in the kayaks right now and be very warm. You'd be just right. All mornings are quiet, but especially weekend mornings, yes. Not 100% sure, but I believe that's a dragonfly before it's a dragonfly. And it's already left this, this form and moved on. Yeah, isn't this tree cool? And uh, the grass and stuff coming up from the bottom makes it looks <clears throat> makes it look neat. I'm gonna trim it a bit, but I'm liking the shape. It is almost like a a Pac-Man, and it's eating the the chimes. Over here, we've got the, the laundry blown in the wind. I put this line up the other day. These t-shirts need to be made into rags because they can no longer be white. They're just nasty. They're clean, but they're soiled. They've been worked. So they're going to become rags. I love... Oh, good thing I came over here. Bag fell on the ground. Mm. I love these sheets, though. They came with the van. Hippie sheets, man. Aren't they sweet? Ha. I'm going to water the flowers over here since the sun is not beating down on us. It's probably going to be a good time to do it. It's supposed to be cloudy today or overcast. That's all right with me. This feels nice. It's been quite warm around here. All righty. We are going to go to Tracker Supply and pick up a couple Deep Cycle Marine slash RV batteries. These have a good review on them. You know, they're not your lithium batteries, just your old regular marine batteries from the old days. But these seem like they might be good. We're not firing at 100% today, let's just say that. Alright, I've got myself a nice seltzer here. 
Bell V strawberry from Aldi's where you don't know half the products you get. Cheers, everybody. Let's go do this. I need some batteries, and this was an idea that one of my friends gave me. He's like, go to Walmart, just get a couple. It's got to be, it's my issue, though. As soon as I unplug, um, my power is like, if I unplug in, out of the sun, I don't have any power. I want to solve that right now. My wife's out on the river somewhere. I don't exactly know where, but somewhere. Somewhere in the shade. Maybe I'll call this the happy van. I used to have a happy van. This could be the new happy van. If it's going to be the happy van, I like that name. I'm Happy Jack and the happy van. Ben the happy van. Ben happy. Ben happy. There you go. Guys, Ben as in the bear, the gentle bear. And, uh, but also, you know, with the idea of it being a B-E-E-N, Ben. How about Ben Happy? Ben Happy the van. The happy van. Ben Happy. It's Ben Happy the whole way. I think I just came up with the name. I'm feeling good about it. Hey Ben. You Ben Happy? This is Ben Happy, guys. Ben Happy. Ben Happy. Welcome to my new van's name. Ben Happy. I love it. This That's positive, you know? positiveness for sure. Uh, I'm going to go give myself a couple of batteries for this RV. The marine batteries. And and I'm thinking about how I don't know how to really put them in. I don't know how to put them in. Alright? I'm not going to pretend that I do. I know it's no big deal. But maybe the first time somebody's going to help me with it. And I'm thinking I've got a couple people that I can reach out to here. So this road we're going on right now, I have a vivid memory of the original Happy Van and me on this road in the winter time. You know, just checking things out. I used to, my first van that I had, I uh, my first Ford van, I would drive it in the winter time. Because it was a rusty old thing. Look at that piece of machinery, huh? Anyway, we'd come down this road and ride out in the country out here. It was fun. I remember it was very much windy and places, there were places that were slippery. But I remember that drive, for some reason, was not an overall bad drive. It was a good winter drive. Whoops. Well, we just discovered that having the guitar on the bed and pulling out onto a road at a fast speed certainly toss your guitar onto the floor. Hopefully I did not damage this guitar because it's it's a good guitar. It's one of my traveling using guitars. You know, it would not be cool. I have a feeling it didn't break, but there you go. Another lesson to be learned. The guitar is not stable back there. Not if you're going to be doing Steve McQueen turns out of roads. Okay, that was successful as far as purchasing the batteries. They had the batteries I wanted. And that's cool because they've been selling a lot of batteries this weekend, they said. And we don't know what we have. We'll go check. And it appears they have what I wanted. So that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm very happy about the, uh, the batteries. Now I'm just going to go install them. Which is not a big deal. And I can return these cores. And uh, get, I don't know, five bucks back for each one. So that's a, that was an expensive little purchase. Well, I guess, I mean, I got two batteries for $353. I absolutely 100% need batteries. It won't be fun to camp without some power, you know? 
just directly having the sun hit my solar, which is happening right now. You know, that's, what, that's how I'm getting my power. Which is awesome. It's so awesome to be able to drive around with my refrigerator fully operating all the time. Wow. As long as the sun's out. We're changing that today. Now we don't have to worry when we have a cloudy day. Uh, there should be plenty of hours. That just gets a great review. That's what I'm going to go with. Alright guys, we are going down to Collins. We're going to work on this van. Hopefully it's going to help me get these batteries in. And we're going to get started on the door. Back doors and get a lock for the side door. Get a lock system. Figure out what the heck we're doing with that. All right, we're here. I'm gonna go get the grumpy man and get started on this. Grumpy old Englishman. The grumpy old Englishman. These guys have a great place. Right down by the river. Here's the two batteries I'm taking out. That was really hard to get it out of there. That's where they're housed. We're having to shave these batteries down a little bit because they don't fit because they have handles on them. Otherwise, they would have fit. Uh, they're not solar batteries either, but they should be fine. These are more intended for uh, solar use as well. All right, guys, we're without power tonight. I've got to get these batteries fixed still. Uh, that's a whole story, whole ordeal. I'm trying a different type of battery I guess it's not quite a solar battery but it's an RV battery I think it's gonna work all right but I have to change the terminals on uh, one of the batteries or maybe both of them we've run into a problem so we're gonna have to do a little modification here I'm not going with the same battery so modification is needed which is a pain in the butt so I'm without power until at least Tuesday we'll see if it's longer I hope not I got rid of everything out of my fridge, which is probably just as well anyway. Uh, just stuff that can be staying there right now. That's all right. Oh, wow. I'm not used to not having power in here. This is my little power unit. Okay. Yeah, today was... Uh, today was something, let me tell you that. It's absolutely something. Meaning it was just a heck of an ordeal trying to figure this out down here. I did learn you can lift this right up to get into this bottom part here. And this completely separates. So it's pretty easy to access back in here. 